McConnell caves to Pelosi, Schumer, allows JCPA media cartel bailout bill to be included in defense package. Now, Mitch McConnell, a.k.a. Co- Cocaine Mitches, is one of the most corrupt politicians there is. Just because he has an R next to his name doesn't make him any any different. He's a rhino, he's not really a conservative, and he just time and time again proves he does not need to be leader uh, of the Republican Party. He has to go. But this is what they do with bills on their own that will not um, pass muster. They can't get it to pass. They would take it and they would stick it in these bills like the defense package that has these bills that has to get passed to fund things. They stick it in these. And I think that should be illegal. They shouldn't be able to do these things. Every bill should be separate. And this is their slippery way of doing it, of propping up the mainstream media because the mainstream media knows that they no longer control the narrative. And this bill that they're pushing helps to give the narrative and the control back to the mainstream media so they could continue with their lies um, when it comes to what's going on in this world. Um, but before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon where I talk about things that I can't talk about here. And there's also a link to my Instagram where I put out even more news. So check that out as well. All right, let's talk about this news here. Senate GOP leader Mitch McConnell has caved to outgoing House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and will allow the National Defense Authorization Act to include the highly controversial media cartel bill, the Journalism, Competition, and Preservation Act, sources familiar with the matter told Breitbart News. Now, my question is, these media companies, uh, 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 these um, mainstream media companies, these are private, these are private companies. Why does it need the government to prop them up? Why? Because it go. this is more proof that they work hand in hand and, and they work together. They, they, that's why, that's, that's basically what's going on. This is corporatism. They get, they give them back to these companies. These companies will in turn give these in-kind donations by protecting them, by uh, not telling, um, not by spinning stories, by not telling the truth in stories, and and that's what this is. This is the government giving kickbacks to these main, to the mainstream media to help them control the narrative. But over objections from House GOP leader Kevin McCarthy, the likely next Speaker of the House come January third of next um, of next year, other congressional leaders acquiesced to lobbyist pressure and agreed to include the JCPA in the base text of the NDAA. Now, what does that has to do with military defense, though? What does propping up journalists have to do with military defense? There's there's a rabbit hole right there, Project Mockingbird and things like that. But um, McCarthy was the only member of of congressional leadership to fight back against the inclusion, but was overruled three to one after McConnell caved. I mean... It's just corruption. I mean, they, they all need to go. Every single one of them. The JCPA has absolutely nothing to do with national defense, as I just said. So to move a swan song, a source for Pelosi, who just announced she is leaving congressional leadership, but retaining her House seat after Democrats lost the majority of the GOP um, to the GOP in the midterm elections, is an egregious step for an outgoing leader of the past against president um, as the NDAA has generally been reserved just for national security matters. Uh, Again, is it a national security matter? Is that why they're trying to sneak this in there? But proponents of the JCPA have been struggling for over a year to move the controversial proposal through Congress, hitting roadblocks every step of the way in committee hearings and fierce opposition from Republicans like McCarthy and others, including uh, Jim Jordan, Steve Scalise, Marsha Blackburn, Tom Cotton, and more. That's why lobbyists supporting the bill on behalf of deep-pocketed industry interests zoned in on two must-pass legislative vehicles in the lame-duck session of Congress 
as a last ditch effort to pass it before the GOP formally takes control of the, of the House next year. The NDAA or spending bill, like an omnibus spending bill, currently also being negotiated. But because the NDAA is proven to be more of a lift than previ previously thought, the prospects of an omnibus bill, an um, omnibus spending bill to fund the government are dimming in recent days. Leaders may instead pursue a continuing resolution, um, resolution to fund the government at the year's end, which makes the NDAA a more attractive prospect for these leaders to attach unrelated proposals like the JCPA, one to force them through in, a, um, waning, in the waning hours of this con Congress in, um, into federal law. Again, I don't think they should be allowed to do this. It, it should be some law against this. I mean, Mitch McConnell, I really, this dude is, 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 this dude is ridiculous. But the JCPA, essentially a transfer of wealth from Silicon Valley to the discredited and distrusted corporate legacy media is highly controversial. Beyond the financial payouts, they're literally giving them money to the media companies. They will be able to form a joint negotiating entity, a cartel, immune from antitrust laws to negotiate with big tech companies on terms and conditions for carrying their content. Now, this, so they're immune. They're given immunity to negotiate with these companies with the um with with so imagine Facebook Facebook and CNN getting together to come up with these terms and conditions. So maybe you can't share that uh, uh ridiculous uh, uh, news thing that CNN might have did or something like that. You know, who knows what type of stuff they're going to be coming out with, with, with through these um, negotiations. I mean, this is just crazy. This is just crazy that, that, that they're going to be able to skirt antitrust laws. And censorship is sure to be a frequent demand of media companies. Despite provisions in the bill that purportedly stop uh, media companies from negotiating the suppression of any one competitor, there's nothing to stop them um, asking their own content to be prioritized over broadly drawn categories that are used as pretext for censorship like disinformation. And we've seen that, we see that a lot with um, these mainstream media companies getting priority over uh, uh, citizen journalists or whatever, uh, or the uh, main, the, um, the um, smaller media companies that people pay attention to and trust more than these mainstream media companies. So they want to be able to go to the forefront of these lists and they're going to be negotiating these things. But Breitbart News has closely covered the bill uh, and continues to enable the censorship um, and, and sidelining of uh, conservative media. Uh, and Breitbart said they report, even with the hastily added Senate amendment aimed at addressing conservative concerns regarding collusion between the media industry and big tech on censorship and competitors, the bill still contains plenty of ways for the cartel to sideline conservative media. Provisions to ensure the cartel cannot discriminate on the basis of viewpoint are particularly unconvincing. The pretext used by social media companies, quote, fact checkers and other arms of the corporate censorship apparatus are almost always viewpoint neutral. No one is censored for being a conservative. Say the censors, they are censored for misinformation, hate speech, conservative, uh, uh, conspiracy theories, and other purported viewpoint neutral reasons. And, and, and attack and imagine because you have a theory, a, a quote unquote conspiracy theory, you be censored for that. With, I mean, this is ridiculous. Attaching unrelated provisions to any type of must-pass bill is a highly criticized practice as it bypasses deliberation on the floor on the merits of the legislation and adds controversy to what is normally uncontroversial among lawmakers, in this case, defense spending. And they're they doing it. This is, this is on purpose, again, like I said, because they know it will never pass on its own. So the only way to get it to pass is to slip it in to the NDAA. And in using the NDAA to pass their bailout for media cronies, the Democrats have specifically undermined the bipartisanship of U.S. national defense. Absent enormous backlash against the move in the Senate, Democrats and their frequent enabler, McConnell, will have, um, will have been allowed to use a defense spending package to establish a government-approved gravy train 
from one set of wealthy, powerful corporations in Silicon Valley to another, the world's largest and most powerful media companies, which, um, again, I'm hoping that as, as more people uh, learn about this and more people speak out against this to make them have to take this out the NDAA. I don't know. I don't really see it happening, but hopefully it, it will happen. But um, let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe. And check out democrepublics.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace. Oh,